If you'd like to see how to carefully pack and ship an empty glass bottle, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube, so today in this video I am going to show you how to ship, how to pack and ship a glass bottle. This is an empty bottle of wine um, that I'm going to be shipping uh, to a friend. Um, I looked online and it is absolutely uh, illegal to ship a bottle of wine or any um, alcohol across state lines, period. Unless it said like, unless you're visiting a winery, then you can have some bottles sent to your home, but it has to be by a company certified to ship um, wine and alcohol, I guess. So I bought this little kit that I saw because I didn't want this to break. I just was so confused as to how I was gonna pack this glass. So what it's called, well I purchased these um, eight piece wine bottle protector bags. So it came with eight. I think I paid about $9 for this. So there's some little quick instructions. Um, it looks like you, you seal the bag, leave a little bit open and it has this little pump so let me just show you what one of the bags look like. Okay. Um, so this is what the bag looks like. And you'll put the bottle of wine inside of here. I'm just trying to figure out where do I blow the air. We're gonna find this out together. So hopefully this video will be helpful if you're thinking about shipping um, a bottle to someone and you don't want it to break or it's something fragile or, or if you're just shipping and doing retail arbitrage where you buy things that you see in the stores. Some people ship food items, maybe some vinegars or just some things that you may want to ship to someone in a different state that may not be for sale in their state and they want it and you want to just ship it to them carefully. So we're going to go ahead and, and figure this out. So after a few tries <laughs> and getting frustrated, I ripped the side of the bag a little bit. But don't worry about that. I'm just looking at the little photo. There's actually instructions on here. So it says, if you look along the edge of the bag, you'll see a line of arrows. Arrows, arrows, arrows. Let me zoom in on here. Because if you buy this, I don't want you to be confused <laughs> like me. So there's little arrows here. I was in a little hole over here, but it says the field port is above the line of green arrows, which there's green arrows pointing that way on the opposite side that the arrow bags, that on the opposite side that the arrows are pointing. So there's a hole here. It says above those. So you're gonna be up here. I was down here. So that's the issue. Hope. And we're gonna start pumping. There we go. And it's self-healing. It says once once it's been filled, it stays like that. I'm not I guess the top part will start closing up as well. You see how it's coming together? Oh, it's nice and firm. Okay, I think that's it. it says it's self sealing. Oh, this is firm. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. You hear that? Just make sure you're in the right hole, the right slot, or whatever you want to call it. Yes. And this doesn't completely close. Because I guess if you're maybe delivering something to someone's home or something, because it says it's reusable. So if you're just delivering it, maybe driving some wine to someone's house and you want to take it and make sure it doesn't break, take it out. Cause look, it can come back out if you want it to, see? And you can reuse it. I like this. And again, you guys, this is about eight bucks. Um, I'll have a link to where you can purchase it. Um, so I'll show you where I got it from. So we're gonna continue on and I'm gonna show you how I'm going to use this box to pack this up, okay? 
Now I'm gonna use some tape and I'm just gonna close this part up right here. It's probably fine if it's open, but I want this to be like locked, you know? I want it to be very, very, very secure. From the top of it, and go down with it. See how I have that? Taped it just like that. This is so firm. Wow. This is a good buy, you guys. I like this. I feel comfortable now shipping this bottle and, you know, don't want this to break upon arrival. And, you know, sometimes with UPS and FedEx, shout out to all the delivery workers because we all know we need our packages and stuff, but Sometimes during transportation, it can get a little rough. Things get dropped. Even when they put stuff on your porch sometimes, you kind of see and just kind of toss it. Some people handle things with a little more care. So just in case it gets a little bumpy along the ride, you want to have that extra cushion. You know, you want to make sure that it's going to be safe during travel. You don't want it to be broken upon arrival. The bubble wrap. And I know they have those things called air pillows. I usually have some because of things that get shipped here. I keep them for if I have to ship something. But I have this. So I'll put this inside the box. And then just for the sake of me being extra, I don't know if this will work, but I feel like it's better than nothing. I have my balloon blower here. So I have my little balloon blower here. This is nothing but a little $20 little balloon blower. It's wonderful for if you have like a birthday party you, or if you do like um, balloon arches and stuff. I was looking at some videos before the lady had this. I'm like, oh, let me get one of those. So it was like 20 bucks, right? So I have the good thick Dollar Tree balloons, like latex balloons, not like water balloons. We know those pop at the drop of a dime. These are a little more thicker and durable. So I'm gonna put some balloons in here just to give a little extra cushion, you guys. Plus, I think when she opens it, it'll be cute. Oh. It'll be cute too. Okay. You just gently put the balloon on. This side is stationary, but this blue side, once you push it down, that's when um, the air releases into the balloons. Okay. So, oh, that might be too big. Yeah, definitely too big. So I'm gonna let some of the air out. Yeah, about this size. I'm gonna just tie them together. So I'm gonna use these like um, packing pillows, you know. So I'll probably do about four of those. Okay. Again, let some air out. Uh oh. About there, I let too much out of this. Yeah, about, about right there. I'm gonna tie these up. And if it pops along the way, it pops along the way, but I just wanna have enough cushion. See, look at that. So I think I'm gonna get a different camera angle going here. So I have some of the shipping paper stuff here. I'm gonna lay that like that. I'm gonna put this wine bottle in between these two. Uh-oh. Wait a minute, what happened? Oh, it didn't pop, you guys. Somehow or another, my tie came released. So don't worry. I'm just gonna blow these back up. I want to make sure this bottle is like it's on clouds the whole way to its destination. Maybe I could have put... So I'm gonna do a couple more balloons, but I want them to be a little bit smaller. Okay, so feel free to use as many of these as you want to. I am going to wedge in the smaller one over here and this other smaller one over here and I just feel like
I'm not gonna throw it down, but I feel like if I was to throw this down, it would be cool. I feel like I wanna put another itty bitty balloon on the side here. Or if I had some more of this packing paper, or even some, you know what? Another thing you can use, guys, let me get some cardboard. I have a cardboard box we're gonna throw out. Okay, look what I have here, you guys. Okay, so. So look what I have here, you guys. I have some cardboard. You know, cardboard is your friend. It has so many different um, uses. Let's see how we're gonna do this. Okay. Now you can kind of roll it. Let's see here. Oh, cool. So what I'm gonna do is cut this in half. Roll that up. This little area I have right there, see that little corner? I'm gonna take that, I'll put that right there. And this little corner over here, put that right there like that. And just in case this flips upside down. Let's see. Right on top. So when I close it up, see? Now we should have no problem with anything arriving broken, okay? I know this might seem like a little extra with the balloons and everything, but cardboard, cardboard, bubble wrap, wine bag, um, inflatable bag is definitely where you wanna go. But because the box is a little bigger, you wanna make sure there's something to hold it in place. And I know sometimes also you can do a double boxing. Like if I had a rectangle box to put this in with this, then put that box inside up here. But I think we're gonna be fine with the way I have this. Matter of fact, I'm gonna just roll this over Like that. And that's, that's really nice and secure. Then we're gonna take our shipping tape and we're gonna go ahead and close this up. I'll probably close this up off camera just in case there's something else I wanna put in here. I don't think there is though. But yeah, I'll just show you. this is closed nice and tight together I'm gonna go over that again I'm gonna go over this a couple times because you guys <sighs> nothing is moving around in this box nothing is moving around nice and sturdy so that is how you ship glass a glass bottle or something fragile. Cardboard, the um, the packing paper, bubble mailers, air pillows, the whole nine. Double box it if you can. So hopefully this video was was helpful. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you plan on mailing some empty bottles of liquor or wine, so. Thanks you guys for watching. Bye-bye. Be sure to check out our website, myworldradiance.com, where we sell lip gloss, hand sanitizers, shoe charms, and much more. Use my coupon code ROYALBEAUTY10 off for a special discount for my subscribers. Be sure to check out our website, crtechnicaldefense.com, where we sell in waistband gun holsters, available in four different sizes. We also carry gun cleaning mats and much more. Use my special discount code VIBES, V-I-B-E-S, for my subscribers. Thanks again for watching this video, you guys, and be sure to follow me on Instagram, life is a whole vibe, underscores in between each word, 
And if you are going to subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell so that you will be alerted each time I upload a video. Thanks again. Bye-bye.